Hi, Mrs. James here. This week is mental health week, so I'm going to show you an outdoor nature challenge you can do with your children. Going outside and being near nature can promote well-being in all of us. This is no different for our pupils. So how can connecting to nature and being outdoors help our children? It gives them a brain break. Time spent outdoors is thought to relieve stress and anxiety in children. Physical activity lowers anxiety, plus it also has the obvious many physical health benefits. It has a positive impact on mental health. It can also, if we're lucky in the sun shines, help top up our vitamin D. Vitamin D releases serotonin that helps us regulate our mood. Getting children to go for another walk during lockdown can sometimes be challenging if there is no purpose or reason for walking outdoors. It's boring or what is the point is often the response we get. Here today I'm going to show you a simple fun activity you can add into a walk to help give it reason or purpose or you can make it into a game or a challenge. It will also encourage your child to look at their surroundings and nature. You shouldn't need to travel far to get near to some form of nature. Even if you live in a built up area, there is often green space or a park nearby. The challenges shown today range in difficulty, so please adapt or use the one you think is best suitable for your child. Don't forget to send us your photos or let us know how you got on. We love hearing from you. Remember, we are not taking any living nature finds home with us to protect the environment. And so we need to find a way of recording our finds. So to do this, you will need the challenge sheet, a pen or pencil, some children enjoy taking photographs, so a camera can be used to photograph the found objects or a sticker can be put on the chart when the object is found instead of a written tick, as some children prefer this. The nature challenge I'm going to show you now uses the senses sight, touch and hearing. By using more than one of our senses, we are offering our pupils a multi-sensory experience. Okay, so start your walk while looking out for the objects on the challenge sheet. You may need to break this down into smaller sections for some children, while others will manage the full sheet. While searching for and finding the objects, there is endless opportunity for learning to take place. For example, you could extend finding the yellow flower to, oh, there's more over here. How many can you count? Or you could give the child the opportunity to share their thoughts. For example, do you like the feel of that tree? Okay, so let's watch the children doing some of the challenges while having fun. The well-being benefits are apparent while watching the video. Start we going on a nature walk. We going on a nature walk. We going on a nature walk. We're going to look for things, that's it. Okay, and what we're going to look for, Ava? Have a look. It's thick. Yeah. Oh, the grown up. 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 A leaf! A leaf! Well done! <laughs> tick it off! Tick tick! Yeah! And the blue flowers! Where are the blue flowers? Good girl! Well done. Tick. Good girl. <laughs> what? Find the flowers. 
Can you find the flower? Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Shall we do some new ones now? Your children's teachers have got three different nature challenges at different levels for you to try. Just ask them if you would like a copy of them. Or you could Google your own. There's lots online to try. I'm off out to try one of the challenges now. Don't forget to send us your videos and photos of you taking part. Stay safe. Bye for now.